muted again. And you're laughing and you're muted allowed. too, bitch. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Uh, Both y'all get muted back. Boom. That was that like was some little, accretion. That was a little terroristic. Thank you very much. That was some, that was um, some accretion. Before we get started, if you guys want to minimize us and go into Amazon, if you're already there, a lot of the deals are already gone, uh, but uh, feel free to be on uh, the Amazon Prime. Uh, we know some people that are working the warehouse tonight. Actually, no, maybe they're not working. But anyways, uh, it doesn't matter. So uh, if you want to just have us on in the background, we'll be you know blurting off some Prime deals that are going on right now uh, that are still available for the taking. Uh, I'm Mask Blaster Nine, and this is uh, Amazon Prime's of Hazards, um, <laughs> sponsored by not Amazon Prime. Uh, understudy, um, you know, hang on, before we introduce everybody, this is something funny that happened today. Um, I have a Fitbit and understudy found my username and uh, added me to his work grind schedule team bullshit, whatever, right? So I get on there, you know, and I look and yeah, exactly. And I look and the motherfucker's got 30,000 steps. What? It's like him? In first place with thirty thousand steps, the next person with like nine thousand, and and then a few other people, and I'm like eight thousand. You know, I'm like, so he invited me so he could gloat. No, removed. I'm off that fucking shit. I was wondering <laughs> he, why he was he asking must, for it. He must play DDR. I guess he's doing a lot of DDR. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, we got Fubaka, <laughs> what and we got we got the Schlanza vapor. Shalansa sauce. Uh, you know, oh, I shit. I totally left coffee there. upstairs. I think you need to turn the cream back over so we can see the name of it. Hmm? Yeah, your cream that you had oh, on, yeah. the, on, the, on the desk. <laughs> I was actually going to talk about it tonight. Uh, Ooh. So my wife, <laughs> I... my, my wife went to the store because I needed some new shaving cream uh, for my head. And, uh, and they were out of my regular stuff that I normally use. So she's like... She's got this other shit that smelled really bad. It was this brand, but different. It smelled really bad. I, I was not okay. It was like this. It was super pungent, like uh, sandalwood. And I've got a my my nose is I'm, I'm gifted in the olfactory sort of sense, right? So my nose is I, I smell things very intensely, and it was too perfumey. I did too, too much. So she brought it back, and she came back with this, uh, and it's Cremo cooling shave cream it's it's like shaving with abolishment well it, it sure is shit yeah you know, it sure is shit doesn't make you less red no uh, it does not it does not do that but i don't know what the deal is my ca i i have this bright white blue blue white light here but my camera is always blue white power red. i don't know what the deal is i i things have changed in here and it uh maybe your lamp is just too texas for its own good it's possible Shit. I meant to send my wife a link off of Amazon. I just sent her the link to the Hangout. <laughs> Don't click on that. <laughs> you sh she should definitely click on that. <laughs> oh, I almost said that's, her name. That was, that was close. That was, that, that was that's close. not the. Uh, that's not the link. There we go. That's only, the link. only if the mass mod mini was awake. Wow. Yeah, maybe. You know, you know that's funny is because I told my parents, I'm like, yeah, she's she's learned she's learned how to say my name. And and so now when she's wants something, she just looks up and goes, Row, 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 you know? And, and my, my parents and are like, like oh. You don't want her. You don't want her to, to to just call you by your name, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't give a shit what she calls me by, as long as she, you know, she she gets my attention. Wow. So right. I think it's funny. So that's a that's a that's a very fine sound to be able to yeah. make uh, Raul. Yeah. Got anything to... Anyway, uh, we yeah. do have uh, a special person to talk about uh, tonight. We do. Uh, would you like to introduce them before we get too much farther? There, Foo? This is your idea? Was um, some say he controls what happens on Reddit? Oh shit. Some say it never happened. What it never happened? I don't know. But he was Don Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Don. You know, so when, when Ahmed mentioned that earlier, I was like... <laughs> I, I thought Welcome. you were on more recently, but it, uh, apparently it was farther back than you were on. I, I thought you were just on the, just the other week. He was one of our first guest hosts, I 
<laughs> Mutato. Dink. Uh, fuck you. How long ago was that? I don't know. Like a couple months ago? Two months ago, maybe. Yeah, time flies, I guess. Time flies. Um. Well, welcome. Uh, we're glad to have you back, of course, as always. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be very chatty tonight, I see. I'm glad to be on. <laughs> Dink. Yeah, you give me I was trying to defend myself. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm glad you're here. We talked chat about some things. Yeah, we've got something definitely you and I could talk about. Um, yeah. Anything crazy going on? I actually got. I, oh, I need to warn people. Uh, tonight we are going to be talking about vaping a little bit because I got some vape mail this week, and some shit is going on. Uh, what? Really? Is there shit going on? There's always shit going on. There's always shit going on. Hello, everybody. It seems like we've got some people going on. There was some. There was some. Uh, <laughs> Muted some, again. There was some advertisement going on for somebody's Instagram coil porn thing. <laughs> Ooh, really on. Click on that one. <clears throat> coil porn, not not regular. The chat sucks, huh? But yeah, so we will talk about a little bit of vaping stuff. Um, I uh, so sorry we're we're an extra couple minutes later than we normally are tonight, and that was primarily my fault. Uh, my work stuff that I normally have to do right before the show every Monday uh, is going badly, so I may be toggling back and forth between Somebody here. I'm gonna get a hard. And what, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was tell I should probably I could go ahead and tell the guys because I don't know who this yeah. is. So my client is a uh, is a is a medium sized business. Uh, they they do you know several million a year kind of thing in revenue. Uh, the the th thing that I'm working on there, I have to log into the servers and run some processes every week. I I log in and it's a it's a total total wipe, total clean session. I was like, oh okay, maybe the their IT people booted it or whatever. Fine. So I started spinning stuff up, and as I did that, a little thing at the bottom boop, popped up and said, this is a temporary profile because we couldn't access your regular profile. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> so I started poking around. I went into the, the Windows event log, and there was like there was pages of failed logins all within a second or two of each other. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> somebody is somebody is definitely trying to trying to hurt them. Uh, somehow. Real bad. Real bad. <laughs> Um, so I sent an email to their IT folks. I was like, hey, you guys need to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with this. Deal with it. <clears throat> deal with it. So with it. I'm trying to recover this shit and get it done. But we, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll soldier on. Just just maybe get y'all talking every now and then while I uh, toggle over and try to get shit done. Oh, fuck. That job failed. Why? Why? Well, now we know. Uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely not a mix. Oh, you know what? I can fix that. That's something I can fix. So, spray some Windex on it. Dong, what's been uh, what's been going on? Uh, I uh, I saw the resurgence of the, um, let's see, the Fastec Digest. Oh yeah, um, is, I is, saw you start doing that, that again. Yeah, yeah it was like a month ago. On? Or was it just like a, eh, and then just no? It was just kind of a fart in the wind. Uh, <laughs> So you it's just got a wild hair up your list. ass. And, it was fun to do, but I just don't like doing it anymore that often. But you did it, yeah? Yeah, I did. It was it was got a good response, and a lot of people uh, were happy to see it back. I guess. What well, I always found it very entertaining. You've got a you've got a good writing style when you were doing it, you know, regularly. Are you planning on bringing it back? Uh, me. Monthly, yeah. come on, monthly. As as you, it, as when, you when interesting things pop up, there you go. Yeah. I, th I, th I think I think last one I wrote, monthly, you'd still do it. This this last one I wrote, I had like a year's worth of content to go through for interesting <laughs> stuff. You you saved all that stuff all that time? That's crazy. No, I just uh, browsed through. This one took a long time. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I'm sure. They've they've been they've been stepping up their game with a bunch of the shit that they're coming out with too. Yeah. So there's been some. Um, well, before we get too far into it, uh, what you picking on now, Dunger? I've got the Kabuki on the Terra Nano. Look how nice this thing is. TV Liquids Cowboy Killer. In oh, you got the matching O-rings. Damn. Yeah, I do. Well, my old one busted, actually. 
That's dope, yo. Well, that should be on the sidebar ACR. Maybe I'll throw it up there one of these days. <laughs> nice. You should. It's a dope setup. Dope looking setup. Wait, you gotta you have to get the matchy matchy drip tip too. Foo, what you got? White Teflon. I've got uh the third week in a row, Limo. Mulkaber. Pissed. Yeah. Mm, nice. Thanks, Diolio. Um, as uh, as bro is the the the, uh, the Narda bell cap open oh, to rail cracker in there. Uh, I'm still running uh, my old Evo until my uh, my my mods come back from their upgrades. Uh, but in here is rail cracker, and on top is the Haku. Uh, and as I use this thing, I just keep using the thing because it works really really well. Um, I've got my normal bill box with uh, the Exocet and um, and uh, Elbowsman, uh, but this guy, which we talked about last week, the new billet box still got to get pissed in it, but now it has a new atomizer in it. When it's one of the things we're going to talk about tonight, and I busted out something a little crazy. Everybody, hold on to your hats. Uh, I've got the uh, my fluid momentum and a new tank. I have a tank that I'm vaping. It's not a squander. It looks like, it looks like a billow. Oh, snap. <clears throat> it's yeah. Uh, uh, this is the uh, this uh, the skyline by E Smoke Guru, um, and it's something that. It, Caught my eye a little while back, and we'll be talking about this a little bit more too. But uh, abolishment's in here too because that's what I've always tested new tanks with. Uh, the short version of it, the little sneak preview, it's fucking good. Massey, you vaping tonight? No, I am not. Um, you know, speaking of, uh, uh, let's see, shit. Speaking of, um billet boxes mm -hmm. um i uh wanted to talk to dong about uh some rumblings i mean i guess they're not rumblings anymore because they're already out but uh about the clone billet box that has come out and the reason i wanted to talk about this is because we were in a hangout a few days ago and I, you know, every so often on Saturdays, we'll go to the billet box site and all of a sudden, all of the fucking billet boxes are in stock. I'm like, whoa, you know, okay. And then I see, you know, on, on late Sunday, I see a post on Reddit that comes up that says, you know, somebody takes a screen cap and says, it's Sunday night and all the billet boxes are still in stock. Holy shit. That's like something that's you know, right. maybe, you know, you get, you get a few hours, uh, but all of a sudden they're all in there. Well... Dong proceeds to say, "Yeah, that, you know, that uh, that new clone that's that's pretty good." So, what have you, uh, what have you heard about it, Dong? Uh, the clone is made by SXK, who also known AK, as Infinite, also known as Infinite, who does pretty good work. And I believe they cloned the billet box Rev three ages ago. Um, that one was all right. Most people weren't too happy with it. I don't think it fit yeah. the stock billet box parts, but the Rev 4 clone they've got out is pretty much perfect. Aside from the nice. doors. Uh, the doors aren't G10. But they've even got DNA 60 boards in them. Oh, they've got actual board DNA 60 boards? Legit boards in them. Wow. No kidding. Uh, two options, though. You can get their China board in it for 75 bucks, or the right. DNA for 125 Here's Here's my big question about this, because uh, you know how I generally feel about clones, but the the question I have is, did they put the USB charging port on the DNA 60 version? They did not fix a thing. <laughs> so it's true. true that would have been, been, how how amazing would that have been if they put a USB no. port in there? Yeah. It, it wouldn't have been out with the, the V5 or something. It wouldn't be a clone, though. Well, they've right? done that before where they slightly change it. I know. I okay, know. It would be with, an any belt, with an any, with an any uh, belly button. I saw I saw someone on one of the on one of the forums basically complaining about if Billabox ever put the USB port in there because of juice gets all in it. Like seriously, no. With as Why much as you can do on? with, right? Exactly. Like you know, they showed a picture of the door and it had like juice all over it. I'm like whatever. But um, um, you know, I I uh, that's interesting to see because um, there are there are quite a few people in the in the community that are just super excited about the clone coming out because now the prices are being you know driven down there i mean all of a sudden you see all these billet box um you know for sales just go 
crashing down because the value is now gone. So I don't even know how so much to the build boxes were going for. So to our fans that have been wanting one, this is probably it's about as buyer to market as it could get for you right now. If you're looking yeah. for a real build, if you want a uh, yeah a legit one, but you know, I mean, like I, uh, I uh, was was faced with uh, with that dilemma about you know the clone versus a real one. I, I've had an OG one for ages. I got it. I got the shiny one three, three, three years ago. Yeah, four years ago, um, and uh, I was looking to do. Um, uh, I was looking to put a, a, a DNA 30 in it. This was before anyone had even thought. I mean, it was it was it was basically me and Joe Lit, and, and Joe had done. There, was, there had been like one other one done, uh, but it was pirate. it was yeah. But it was it was very weird how it was set up. Like there was something you had they had to move the button and all this. So, anyways, um, so I I have one. I, I didn't complete it, but um, I have I I bought a, a clone. And I think I showed it on the show, and uh, the fit and finish were just not, uh, not there. The, well, that's the, one of the, the things about the Rev Three was so awesome was the engineering and the CNC quality was amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, when you held, you know, and this is back when, this is the one that you had to have the five ten adapter on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's it's old, and um, so anyways, but I wanted it because of the dimensions. The dimensions were the same. I could you know tear it up, mill parts out, and not have an issue. And because putting the DNA in, in those old school billet boxes was quite a challenge, you know, to get screen and board and everything jammed up in, in an area. But, um, you know, but a lot of people. The other problem is the batteries that, I mean, there's right. those, uh, the one, two, three batteries or whatever. Yep. The batteries and the battery location um, was, was a pain in the butt. So, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of hate because, you know, I'd gotten a clone. I'm like, listen, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to pay it full price to destroy you know, a brand new working billet box. And uh, I'm glad I didn't because, you know, it's a project that I, I one of the projects I never finished. So, um, but it's interesting to see that, you know, now the clones are as high quality. Um, so it was a matter of time, you think, right? I, it's I'm been a long time. Honestly, I'm fascinated though, that it took A, this long, and B, that they're putting legit boards in there. That's, that's really interesting. Dude, you know what's the longest? I, as in my head, and someone tell me if there is one that took longer, but in my, as far as I know, the Poldiac took the longest to clone of any mod to date. Mm. Yeah, I mean, here's, here's before, the thing. Before I saw a respectable clone. I think that they looked at, okay, is Billet Box meeting people's demands? Fuck no. People are bitching. You, you should see the threads on, on, their, on the Facebook group of every time people miss the F5, yeah. you know? So this is years years after the billet box has come out. Now, again, there's new revisions, there's new colors, there's new features. I understand mm -hmm. that. But even the OG billet boxes are still, you know, I mean, you can't even get them anymore. You know, so these these people are meeting this demand. And I guarantee you that that's why, yeah, it took so long. But if it was a mod that, you know, they had stock on, 20, you know, all the time and people were able to get it, I don't think, you know, China would have ventured into cloning it. I mean, I don't know. But, um they they do, <laughs> yeah. But, not as often yeah. anymore. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that they're starting to see their they're they're looking for profits. Not that they weren't before, but before it was just flooded, flood the market with it. So, um, Brando was asking what mods I sent off for upgrades. I sent my um, my Limelight Freehand S, the the my Walnut Edition. I sent it back for the uh, the new upgrades, which includes the new 510 that he redesigned and put in there. Um, uh, Dayon, uh, he's, it's a custom 510 that he makes there. So uh, it's upgrading that, and it's upgrading it to a MOSFET and a switch. Uh, and it's it was delayed for a while, because after, after I was talking to him a little back, he's, he's sat on it for a little while because he's redesigned stuff uh, and put uh, new liquid-proof switches on the MOSFET because he had this is this is one of the reasons I like Limelight. Okay, it's it, it reminds me of somebody like Masty that that got into like full on mod productions uh, because his his attention to detail is so ridiculous. He had, I think it was ten glooms out of five hundred, from what I understand, fa the MOSFET or switch or something failed and it stopped working. Right, wow. and uh, and come to find out, eight of those ten was because they got liquid around the switch and by bathing it in some alcohol and getting it cleaned out of there, it worked fine, didn't have to send it back. 
and two of them were actually like a failure. So it was two out of five hundred, and he was he was he was floored. He quit he quit sleeping. He was like super upset about it. I'm like, dude, two out of five hundred failing is ridiculous. But it, he was just not happy with it. Right? What would so, happen if it was like fifteen? Yeah, I don't know. He would have been been fucking balls deep in a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. (laughs) He'd be looking for a bridge and somebody to jump off of. I hope not. That's that was a joke. But anyway, so he's he's he narrowed it down to this the switch failing. It's not the MOSFET, and uh, and so he's replacing them. The one point two version has got a a a totally liquid to liquid proof, and I forgot the the rating that it is, but liquid proof switch anyway. So he was waiting on that to put that in there, and. So that was the only thing I sent back for upgrade, and and on this way back also is I believe I'm getting another mod coming back. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he hasn't built me for it yet, so I don't I don't know, but I hope so, uh, and I hope it's uh, I hope it's what I'm thinking. So, um, that's what's coming back to answer your question. Amen. Yes, and I think they I think they shipped today. I think that was the plan. We'll see. Nice. Why is Mooch disheartened? Why is he? Why is he sighing? Did somebody see that? I don't know what happens. That's what happened to him? I don't know. I uh, hope he comes back on here and tells us what's going on. So I that's what I got watch. going out, or rather, coming back. So I got coming back. So this is what we'll talk about in a minute. I got to figure out how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna show you these things. I may I may go a little, I may switch around and do a little tech time, a little up, up close thing. Um, um I was gonna say, uh. Well, I guess we'll yeah we'll see when Mooch comes back. Uh, but Dong, what uh what price are those going for? So somebody asked. They're going for around one twenty. The billet boxes. The DNA sixty ones, yeah, they're going for like one twenty five, I think. Okay. The, the other seventy watt board ones are going for cheaper, like fifty bucks cheaper. Wow. Fifty bucks cheaper. That's a lot cheaper. It's about the price of a sixty board. Yeah, give or take. I guess full retail. Yeah. yeah, they're not getting them from Evolve. Yeah, uh, is the thing. So who knows what they're paying for? That's true. Whatever it's they true. can sell that shit for 125. Think about that. The best thing it's done is stabilize the prices of the retail, the real ones. Well, that and just market saturation. Market saturation too, I think, because <clears throat> there's the the Billbox Four has been down on resale for a while, and there's a reason that people are. Uh, uh, hashtag bundle hunting them, you know, together well, with a bunch the, of stuff. To people get their dump their DNA seventy five ones when the DNA sixties came out. If you remember, yeah, the there were no DNA seventy five ones. Well, the DNA forty ones, people were dumping. Yeah, well, and that happened again too when, when the big screen DNA forties came out. Yeah, there was there was some cycle, there was some churn there, and then there was more when yeah when the six. It was closer out. between the DNA forty and the. You know, you know what's weird with the with the build boxes though is, is the the swing that they have. Like, you know, ooh, somebody comes out with a new, you know, they 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 come out new board, and the old ones start going down. You're right, exactly. A new a new uh, uh, tank or a new um, you know device comes in. Oh, now it goes back up. Now everybody wants them, and and now it's like. I don't know. I think I think the the clone is really gonna put a hurting on them. It already is, dude. But I'm sure the accessory sellers are happy. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. People making panels and buttons and shit. They can sell more than twenty of them a week now. Yeah, right. That's, that's not allowed, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I I really I truly wonder how how much of their production and and. You know, to be fair, we have asked uh, the guys from Built Box to come on the show, but you know they have, uh, you know, graciously, uh, you know, denied us. Um, you know, graciously we're real interested. Denied in... us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, They're like who plumes of what? No. 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 It was more like it was more like <laughs> plumes of gizzards. plumes of gizzards. <laughs> guys. So, anyways, um, they're in Utah. Uh, this, I just I try to be you know I'm just trying to be uh, given as much information as possible. Some people are like, "You guys never allow nobody to come and speak their mind." So, anyways, um, but I just totally lost my train of thought. Uh, so, <laughs> thanks, uh, Skyline. Uh, I think. But anyways, um, I don't know. Next, fuck. <laughs> 
No, I, I think what I think I think what I think what I was trying to get at is is you know to to see how you know how how this is going to impact them because what for the longest time there you could not you could not make them fast enough so they would put fifty or sixty of them up a week yeah. everybody f fiving on a Saturday and then you couldn't get them right so they they stopped production for months two months. And they moved to a new to, to a warehouse. They had all this equipment. I mean, they got videos of it and everything, and 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 bigger tooling and all this other stuff to start, you know, mass, pro, you know, making, you know, produce production. Mass producing. And mass I think producing. what happened was was the DNA craze got to them, right? So they were now cranking out billet boxes, and then you know now it's like okay, well, we're gonna work on on doing the DNA board one. Okay, so then they did that, and they had all the problems with the with the screens and the buttons and the and the ribbons. And, and so, I don't know, I, I just, I wonder how for the longest time, because just up to a few months ago, they were still, it was F, F5 city. I mean, you, yeah. you, you can go back and look, people were still complaining about not being able to get one. And, and it wasn't just people saying, okay, well, I wanted a, a orange one or I wanted a green one. So I ended up with a black one. No, it's, there aren't any, no other colors. So, <clears throat> right. And that's um, always been the case, right? They, they always release limited numbers because that, and yeah. To be to be perfectly fair, uh, the pillar box has always done ridiculously good with their not only their their quality control but also the, the oh, colors absolutely. and stuff. Oh my god, yeah. they're anodizing is gorgeous. The best in the game. Yeah, and I had, and I had a couple flaws on it, honestly. Yeah, did it really? It wasn't the best I've seen. Titans are better. Well, <laughs> 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 well, you know. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Hey, I'll put it up. Game. Game. Wait, 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 I'll put, wait. I'll put it. I'll pull it up on a durability test right next to the damn built box. Dude. I can tell you one thing: it ain't gonna scratch as easy. Um, I got a, I got an anodized Titan here, boy. Oh. Well, granted, this was a scratch and dent that was given to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> bull bust, you know. Yeah, look at that blue. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh. But you know, I, I. Uh, I, I wonder, you know, I wonder how, how that production continued, if they just scaled back or, or what. I'm <laughs> like really that. glad I clicked on you for that. That's good. <laughs> Anyways. I did clean this. So. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Motherhood says there are known big deal Facebook guys there get multiples every Saturday. I dislike them. Well, I mean, now you should go this Saturday because so you, you should be able to get something. Well, and you've got people like... Uh, uh, Stephen, the guy who makes the uh, the haku, uh, he's got like a half dozen. He's got six or eight of them himself because he loves the damn things. He buys them. Uh, <laughs> my, my my sister just messaged me and said, "Did you guys get a new guy on your show? He looks like Eugene Levy." I'm like, uh, "I'm in disguise. Hello? You know that." <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll uh, just have to tell your mother we ate it all. I can't. I can't. I can't rag on her and say get a job because she did get a job. So yay, least, that's know, good. Whatever. Now it's get a car. I'm sick of driving you to work. <laughs> <laughs> Master Mobile. Yeah. Mm. I've get got a, a guy who lives in San Fran, and he's the same thing. His his girlfriend wife doesn't. Uh, they don't have a car. They only got the one, and he works out of the house like I do. And uh, so every now and then I'm, I'm texting him, I'm talking to him on, on chat and stuff saying, hey, you know, have you seen this thing or whatever? Can I show you this? And he goes, I'll be right back. It's taxi time. He calls in taxi. He's got to like, step out and drive his, <laughs> drive his girl around. That sucks. That yeah. sucks. I, I, the car that I have, I've got a, a car for my wife and then I've got one as well. And I don't ever drive. I put like 3,000 miles maybe on it a year. And uh, and it's it's honestly kind of a waste of money to have it, but at the same time, like, convenient. When thing. when she's when she's out, that means I'm either stuck here, or I have a damn car. So it's annoying. I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, should we uh, should we talk about the billet box? I think so. Box. We're talking about the billet box. We might as well uh, show this thing. Um, so when I got the second billet box come in, um, 
obviously I've been using the Exoset since it came out last what was it, last summer or whatever, my other one. I never really saw much of a point of laying out a, a bunch of money for another one because unlike like a dripper or a tank or something like that, like you can't really just swap out, you know, tanks or atomizers rather in the build box, right? Because it's a little messy ordeal. Anybody that owns one knows it's just kind of a pain in the ass to rewick. It's a pain in the ass to do anything. So it's not like you're going to quickly change them out. So I never bought another atomizer because I was really happy with the extra set. But when I got the second one. I was like, hey, maybe maybe this is my, my chance to try something new. So I tried something new. Let's get a little more light in here. That, gentlemen, is the insider by Steam Tuners. A dunk a dunk. <laughs> look, look at all look at look at all that juice on the outside of that thing. You get any in your porthole? <laughs> oh, stop it! It's not bad. It's just fingers <laughs> mush. Should have gotten a fucking clone. The clones don't friggin' leak. So to your point, that I mean, all of that is nothing but finger grease from filling and stuff, right? But to your point, uh, the the first build, I think maybe the. First build I had on this thing was uh, was not a good build for this thing. Um, let me let me show you the the actually you know what oh, you can barely see it. So like in the corner of the tank that you can see like a little little yes. shiny spot that yes. is the uh, the juice inlet and there's one on the other side as well. Um, so it kind of wicks like a K fun. Um, let me zoom back out here. It kind of wicks like a K fun and uh, and that's yeah that's okay. Obviously a lot of things vape. You know, wick like that, right? And by that, I mean it's wicking from the bottom, right? You're ju pulling juice from the bottom. You got your wicks hanging down, and it, uh, you know relies on capillary action to come up. Uh, I much prefer the wicking method of the uh, like the Uber Toot or uh, what was the other one that did that? The, ty the Typhoon, where the wick is just sticking out in the tank, right? And it just goes straight in. Nice short trip, not fighting against gravity. It's just capillary action straight to the coil. Mm. I like yeah. it like that. That it just it always seemed like it's more consistent and, and works better. If you get the right density of cotton, then it's just it's basically bulletproof. But one thing that's nice about this thing is having those wick holes on the bottom of the tank is you can wick the whole tank, right? Like uh, the, the extra set is up a little bit, and uh, and unless you tilt it, which you do when you're vaping it anyway. So I never never saw much of a point of that anyway. But uh, so when you pointed your face, it was wicked. It always wicked you fine. Don't but, this thing all the time? Yeah, no, exactly. I do not. I think my, I think I did. I think I made that vape, that very joke in the NARPA review that I put up. That's the, that's the overdrip pose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that, that is one thing I like about it. it they also took a cue uh, from the, I think the, from the Exocet and that they have a 510 thread on the bottom of the atomizer, which is really good. That lets you throw it on a, uh, throw it on a mod, you know, get your coil pulsing and whatever you're going to do outside of that, uh, especially if you're cleaning it. Um, Brando, where can you get an Omen tip? You can go to his Facebook group. Uh, if you search for Omen, you'd find it really easy. Uh, but while I'm typing, I'll uh, I'll get it for you. Omen. He makes not only does he make uh, drip tips, he also makes integrated tips for the billet box, so you don't have to have that 510 adapter on top. Oh, for example, like this one. I'll zoom in again so you can see. Oh, no, not that one. Whoa. That's, Ooh, too, that's, that's a little too cool. There we go. So I actually was able to use my old one uh, that I used to use on here before I got my uh, my post style, my post style integrated to it, which I really like. And no, that's not gum. That's not gum. That's the, that's the material. That's actual silver. Yeah, that's actual. It's not silver. It's, it's, <laughs> but it's, platinum. Not, it's platinum. It's platinum. Not platinum. Not <laughs> Oh, mm. my, oh, that was that was a problem. My iPad just fell off my little bowl I had sitting on. That's not good. That's um, a, actually a pretty big shout out from Motherhead and IRC. What? Uh, Lot Babe has Omen tips and a fifty percent off code running. That's true. Uh, that is actually something I was going to mention because he mentioned it earlier. I think they've been going out for a while, but he brought it back up. And before they weren't having the crazy sale, but now it's fifty percent off. Yeah. So if you know anything about Oct vapes, O U G H T vapes, they're a good vendor. They also have uh, vapor art products. Vapor, yeah, they've always been one of the ones that carry vapor art yeah. products here in this in the states. Who's uh, They've too. been around since Oct nine. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the back to the insider. So I 
I did like, uh, you know, prefer the Exocet slash Uber Toot slash Typhoon sort of style wicking, but this does work pretty well when you've got it right. My first build in here was garbage. I threw a three millimeter core in there. There was way too much wick. It choked it out, dry hit, almost died. It was not cool. Um, but I scaled it back to a two and a half millimeter, thinned the wick out a little bit more even, and dropped that down. And it's been working really pretty well ever since. Um, one of the things that I thought uh, that was going to be a problem, uh, and Fu, I think, was mentioning that about it displacing a lot of e-liquid. Um, I actually had that sitting next to a, uh, a sub-tank coil head and that adapter, uh, and also the Exocet. I don't think this thing is any, this is actually smaller than the, the sub-tank rebuildable that I had in there before, and the chimney is smaller as well. Um, so it doesn't displace any more than I'm used to, uh, at least by eye. I did not measure the, uh, the volume of liquid. Yeah, come on, bodily gooch, this is your gig. <laughs> Yeah, no, I did not do that because honestly, I don't care when the build box is dry, you fill it up. Um, then, you to, then you have to do it with the clones. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's uh, not going to happen. Oh, I'm too busy making dab bats. That's actually, a, that, that does happen, Jason. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, the Insider, is it any good? Yeah, I think it is a good atomizer. It does work. You need the right build in there, obviously, like most atomizers. You need the right build in there uh, so you don't get too much wick down. Um, I don't really understand. Let's see, where's where's the box? Here's the box. Uh, it comes in a neat little box, little slides out thing. It comes with um, two chimneys, uh, one that's uh, that you saw in there. This one's a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, larger diameter. Let me just throw it on the ground real quick. Um, eh, I don't, I don't really understand why we've got two chimneys in there. It also comes with a replacement. And one thing I should mention is, um, the bottom, the very bottom in there, you can see that little black, that little black thing underneath the, uh, underneath the tank. Um, you can easily adjust the airflow. It's got a, like a little cog that sticks down off of the bottom. So you can adjust the airflow a little more easily from outside without having to mess with it. Nice. Unlike the exit set where you kind of have to stick a little, you know, sharp, tweezers or something in there to kind of get at it. Um, so that, that works a little bit better, a little bit better, but you also get a black one and a, you get a, a white one in there too. Uh, I said this when it, when it came out, I don't really understand why you don't just pick, right? I, I don't need both chimneys. I don't need both AFCs. I would just as soon make it cheaper because it's not cheap. It's like 120 bucks. Uh, wow. It's, it's not cheap. Maybe it's made to fit whatever your mood is that day. Actually, did you ever think yeah. about it that way? Or to match your bill, your boro tanks, and most people get the white one that comes with it, or uh, you know, you can buy the the uh, the, the black one as well. And, you know, I, I don't know. To me, I would I would prefer to be a little less expensive personally, because it's not it's not terribly expensive, but it's it's a little spendy. It's in a sense, it's like you're getting more value in a sense, but it may not be value you necessarily want. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's maybe not value that that you want, especially me because, like like I said, I would just soon do with one of the chimneys and pick the color of the AFC and be done with it. And have it cost you know 100 bucks, 110 bucks, yeah. 120. They're made in Greece, right? Uh, steam tuners is is it Greece? I think it may be. You may be right. Yeah, you may be right. Yeah, they're the same, same area as at, at Mystique, right? I think they're close. Considering they yeah. sell like the same products. <laughs> I don't yeah. yeah. Right, right. So there's that. Uh, it, does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes good. Uh, does the AFC thing work? Yeah, works fine. Works basically like you'd expect a bullet box thing to, to, to work. I don't really like the fact that that top is threaded. I think they could have made the whole thing a little smaller and just fit it with an O-ring, kind of like the X is um, They could have saved a little space there, I think. Uh, at least it seems like that to me. But so there's there's some room for improvements and stuff, but at the same time, it is what it is. If you can't find an Exocet, you can get an Insider. Now that said, they used to be on their site. They're no longer on their site. Um, but apparently they are making a new batch because right, right at the end of the uh, the end of the show last week, I showed you a picture, and I will show it again. Let me pull it up here. Actually, I'm shocked that it's not right at the top of the group. I wasn't planning on talking about it, but I probably should. Probably should. Here's a picture of it. There you go. Do 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 do. Share screen. There we go. So um, here's the insider, uh, but now they're they're making a tank for it to go 
uh, in. So you, instead of putting it in a billet box, you could take your same uh, insider and drop it into a little RTA. That's kind of neat. That's cute. Yeah, I, to, I, I don't really understand it. I mean, if you're buying, if you're buying an insider, what? You just love how it bakes. You're putting it in the outsider. I guess, uh, but if that's the case, then you know it's going to be harder to to take apart and deal with wicks and stuff like you would in a regular it's RTA. Nifty, okay. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't really understand it. I don't think, but at the same time, cool. It's neat that it works. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. It's just a little. It's a nice looking. At least it's not ugly. It's okay, definitely not that. ugly. It's very classy. They make, they make some pretty shit. Yeah, they did a good job. Um, is the now somebody was saying in, in chat that that I'm going to hate. The way it looks compared to the Exoset and how it's made, I will say that it's a little rough. It's not as uh, not as polished, so to speak, as uh, as the Exoset. Hanks didn't like Badunka Dunk in his tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a, it's not it may be not quite as refined looking. There's some sharp corners and whatever on the inside of it, but it, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it was made poorly uh, at all. It it just isn't quite as Rounded, chamfered. The edge is maybe not broken as much. Uh, I would, I would say the same thing about the Soul S. The Soul S's deck, that shit can cut you. <laughs> it is really <laughs> sharp. How does it do, how does it do well, with pissed? Though? How, does it, how does it do with pissed? Uh, so the the inside actually is doing really well with pissed. Uh, I've actually been enjoying it quite a lot. Now, uh, so something <laughs> where I was driving at something Masty mentioned a minute ago about it about the the e liquid that he saw, which is from my hands and fingers, and also uh, that I over lubed the uh, the gasket because it's a new burrow tank and you have to in order to not disturb that gasket, right? So in in its defense, that part wasn't the insider's fault. But what I will say is, after I had vaped about three or four tanks this weekend on this build. Um, I uh, I was vaping it today this afternoon and, and took a drag in it and it gurgled a little bit. I was like, oh, that's a little weird. So I kind of took it all apart or whatever and did pissed in the back and like there was juice behind the tank and there was a little e liquid in there. Uh, so I took it out and I did the old K fun trick, you know, turn it upside down and blew it out, you know, with the with the paper towel and cleaned it all back up. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the problem again since. So I don't know what happened there, but eh, maybe not. Maybe not the problem, or maybe not the fault the the thing. But I know some people, including Motherhead, have had similar problems with the Exoset. That has never happened to me with the Exoset, but that is what it is. It could it could have been a fluke? Could have been something that'll happen again. I've only had it for a couple of days. Maybe maybe fuck yourself. Maybe maybe go fuck yourself. Um. Oh, now stuff's moved around. Come back to me, chat. Angsty, listen to Tooney. On what stainless? No, I don't know. I, I just saw it. Chris L said, "Listen to Tooney." What did Tooney say? Tooney. Uh, you gotta help me out. When I'm running my mouth, I can't be watching this thing. Well, the real Tooney, please stand up. Right. <clears throat> um, I can't. I can't listen to Tooney like totally because he uses stainless wire. That's what I mean. Stainless. You can't yeah. trust the man. <laughs> I trust him. I mean, we brought him on. Yeah. But yeah, no, he's a great dude. I was just joking. Um. So that's the insider. Works pretty well. It's fine. Uh, I I don't know if if I were to buy another another bill box, for example, would I buy an Exoset or a an insider? I would buy the Exoset personally. If if the if they were both available and I would buy it, I'd probably buy the Exoset again. Um, you would nothing. The NX Cardo? No. <laughs> I've I've still got an <laughs> NX Cardo over here, and it does work really well. Um, uh huh. Uh, oh, he said. Chris says. Chris L said, "Drill out the insider." Now, I, I haven't really had a fourteen. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I've had a problem with the wicking. Now that I've got the right build in there, right. At the same time, I'm also running at twenty watts. So if you were if you were running at like a big fatty uh, uh, Clapton coil in there or something, and you wanted to run it at, at sixty watts, um, I could see how that would be necessary. Yeah, I could see how that'd be necessary. That. Because that is that is the problem with it is is uh, so like if if it's wicking down like that I would tend to want to do some more delicate wicking I guess and more more specific placement but since the thing threads down on top and the chimney or the top cap kind of comes in uh, to adapt to the chimney going up to the drip tip you can't do any manipulation uh, once once it's there and you screw it down there's there's no room to kind of get in there and futz around a little bit. Uh, it's it's kind of done. 
uh, well, I'm that bro. If you work. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's a problem. You just got to get it built right. You just, gonna, you just need a two and a half and the right amount of cotton in there. Uh, and it's been wicking pretty well. Hey, uh, so, yeah. How cool would it be if Chris Munn made doors for the bell pops and bell doors? There are people that make uh, clear doors. Uh, Chris doesn't make it, but you're right. It would be cool. But like, you know, his style, acrylic. It's true. Uh, you know what I saw? Hope you're watching, Chris. I saw Omen. Uh, speaking of Omen, I saw him making some uh, some doors. And that's cool. I've been wanting. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, you showed me. Yeah, I've been wanting Brett to make me a, a, a titanium These ones, button. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been wanting Brett to make me a titanium button for the build by since I got it. Uh, he didn't want to do it, so fine. I would think it'd be a really easy one to make too. I mean, like, just need some round stock. Is, and... is it a nine millimeter button? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Those who don't know, um, these post style tips, these nine millimeter ones, he hates making because these aren't the standards. His, these aren't his standard size. The standard size is eleven mil, I believe. Right. Sorry, I was reading the chat. What? I think eleven mil is the standard size. Yeah, for his drip tips. So. We're not standard. We we're nine. Okay, we're not. We're you know, we're nine, eleven people. See, nine. Yeah, look at look at look at that one. That that one used to be round. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> let's not talk about it. Okay, that's fine. I didn't know if you wanted to mention it. I didn't know if you wanted any griping, any any event time. Just I'll, I'll just show them. Look what happened. Oh. What happened today? Yesterday. Oh. Very That's a little damage, a little damage, and then this one wasn't your fault, which is nice. I'm never feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> Chris L says, "How do you get a limo?" Mm. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure the. Just make sure it's not secret. <laughs> How do I see what kind of, oh, okay. Close means that it, you can search for it, right? You yes. Have to be approved. Okay, so the name of the group. And you can apply to join. Is DPM Mods International. Facebook group. So first and foremost, you need a fucking Facebook to get a limo. Uh, there, uh, Will just sent over the link. I'll paste it for you. Um, thank you, Will. Uh, Will's the one that actually sent this over. Um, Will, I don't know if you saw this earlier, but... Part of the uh, unfortunate incident earlier is not as bad as you see that. There you go. You click. Is that black oh. Delrin? Yeah. Well, at least that stuff takes abuse pretty well. A little. Yep. Yeah, it took a little ding or two, but it survived. On the, the faceplate came out a little bit. I noticed. I'm like, that's not even. <laughs> Push it back in. It's like a like a pop shoulder popped out. I'm like. Good as new. All right, get back out there, sport. <laughs> you slap, slap it on the butt. <laughs> it's like, all right. No, so here's the thing. I didn't know about this at first. I pick it back up, and then my lip feels it. I'm like, mm. sad story. Anyway, fuck. It looks it looks well used. I mean, it, it looks like my friggin' uh, my friggin' Dia, which took I was about to, I was I was about to shine it up like today. I found I got the thing to do it. I was gonna you know polish it up, make it look nice, and now. Uh, I mean, you know, look at look at this. You know, Cinderella got her face slashed with a knife today. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> let's see. Oh yeah, look at there. You see that shit? Um, mine yep. took a mine took a tumble uh, a few months ago, and it did that. Did it, take, did it take a digger? I don't know what that is, but maybe. Dude, nothing makes me more proud than uh, like we're showing Taking off scars. Digger? It's funny. This shit right here. Yeah, you definitely win on the beat up mods front. <laughs> Dude, this thing came with me everywhere. Yeah. Perry pa Perry Perry Veritube would be very happy to see that right now. Check it check us out, Perry. Perrier. And it Perrier still works. Perry. I mean the cap's not there. It's in the in my little vape holder thing, but uh Yeah, it still yeah. works. I just I haven't been RTA, I've been squonking, so you know it's been uh Yeah. It's been living on uh, unemployment. SX Mini. True. Mm -hmm. 
Anything else? But, I don't want to dominate. I just want to talk about the insider. I'll talk about the other thing whenever it's a good time. You want to dominate? What's the safe word? <laughs> 3D, pr- 3D printed mech? Is that the safe word? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, oh. the go, that's the go harder word. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Alumite is oh. a safe word. Alumite is a safe word. How awesome would it be if his wife was watching the show and all of a sudden one day she just busts out, 3D printed mod! <laughs> That'd be instant heart on death right there. Eesh. That would be a Metal Gear Solid exclamation point over the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's that's a terrible <laughs> thought. Thanks, Masty. That's, that's great. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna I'm what's gonna happening here? Checked by Jesse Pinkman. Sip. <laughs> yeah. Who's a uh, cup? Looks like it's got teeth on the bottom of it. Right. Teeth? Teeth marks. Mm, that's that's a, it's a dead person. Oh. But on the outside, it says peace also takes courage. Mm. Oh, how, un- how uplifting. Um, I, had a, I had a user um, ask um, about this guy mm-hmm. um, and uh, was in one of the YouTube videos. No, it was uh, it was in the Facebook. it was in the uh, Facebook group. Yeah, and uh, so live wire mods uh, was G deal was the one selling uh, the parts all together in a kit to make these guys. That site is no longer active, and neither is their Facebook group. Uh, but you can still go on Shapeways and do the printout for the body, and he has a list of the parts on the uh, on his face Facebook store under so. Uh, if you wander over to our Facebook group, you'll see the links that I put up in the post um, about, you know, we had some people asking about making one of those. So, um, but, um, you know, for the price of, you know, making one, you should look at some alternatives too if you're, because um, what really kills you is the shipping from different locations for the parts. So it was, it was nice to be able to get it. You know, that print was cheaper than I remember it too. I feel like it used to be like a hundred bucks. It was a hundred bucks when I when they when I when we first got it. Yeah, it's Shippers like it's like, 50, it. it's like fifty something bucks now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure after you know a lot of them get get sold. Um, you know, and, and 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 it depends on how complex it is too. These the first the first uh, versions they were complex as fuck because of the small parts. Everything had to be uh, center based printing. Uh, so Shapeways back then was the only one that was doing that. I mean, there was maybe one or two places online. Um, and even when you got the parts in and they were so small, you still had to, you know, uh, your mileage may vary on how precise they were. So uh, you had to do some finagling. But, you know, we've come a long way now. So um, I figured I mentioned that. way together. <clears throat> so, because you know, some people just don't want to buy a shitty 3D printed squonker, and they want one with a nice DNA board in it or whatever. So, hey, uh, Master, hey, check the check the general chat on Slack. Speaking of something you were talking about earlier, okay. <laughs> 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 I wasn't gonna mention it. <laughs> uh, oh, not even in there. Oh boy! See what did I tell you? <laughs> so, so we don't leave out our audience. Uh, that chat was just uh, understudy at 10:04 p.m. gloating, saying "fuck yes, day over." Thirty-one thousand steps and fifteen miles walked. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <sighs> <laughs> I want a gif of that face Close. mask thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so my, my my dad's like uh he he had he had my kid. They were at uh they were at the mall and uh he's walking by the little play area and uh he's got uh, my niece and and my daughter so they're walking by and uh there's a bunch of cl- kids like rough housing so he's like no nah, just you guys just play over here and she he's like she just like looks at me and then looks over at the kids and then looks at me 
and then looks over at the kids. He's like, all right, fine, go. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's that look. Yep. I'm like, you're <laughs> kidding me. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so. Um, what about, uh, um, uh, I don't know if we should, uh, should we mention, should we talk about the questionable marketing post that was put up on Reddit a few days ago? Uh, I want to make sure it's Reddit moaning. Yeah. I don't know if I want to, basically it has a kid. A little kid. I mean, how old do you think that kid is, Anxi? Probably five, uh, four, five years I'm, old. I'm terrible at guessing kids' ages. And he's, he's got a – he's 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. He's fucking and, he's got, <laughs> and he's got uh, – and he's got a uh, – what it looks to be a mech mod in one hand, and it's, it's an Instagram picture. Uh, um, I don't know. Really? I didn't see that. You didn't see it? Um, I think I know which one you're talking about. So here, I, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just show the image. Uh, but I'm not going to show uh, who, who they is. So T Max. Someone, someone in chat said, "Yeah, I heard a fake account had put that up." Yeah. Supposedly, a fake uh, that would be good. I hope so. Right. Supposedly. So. Real kid though. Yeah, real kid. <laughs> yeah. You can't fake uh, bad parenting. So What? There we go. Oh, there get that out of here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, so and it looks like it's well, okay, like Okay, more importantly, what's with the bag? What's What's the bag? It looks like it's a vape mod. Uh looks like a, a mech mod, the, sorry. The Gucci bag. Oh, the Gucci bag, yeah. So cool aviators, though. Yeah, the kid's got style. I'll say that much. And it, <laughs> let's see. I don't know. It looks like a fake kid. That kid could be eighteen. Possible. Yeah, fuck, fuck, guy. He's uh, he's buddies with Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's Rion, Rion's little brother. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Brando, you. Oh yeah. Hey, Brando. You. Uh, Brando was asking about the the uh, Kabuki. You want to talk about that for a minute? Sure. Um, I got mine like a year ago, and it's pretty much the only thing I've been using since then. Can attest. Um, he likes that shit a lot. Definitely worth buying if you could find a V1. The V1.5 or whatever is out now uh, is by default, I think, P3 threaded or Z2 threaded. Which adapts to five ten, so these are shorter. Otherwise, the same. He likes it a lot. You could find he's, these. Uh, you could find these used from anywhere from like fifty to seventy five bucks. Can you? Uh, do you have the? Does that one have the P P three? No, this is the V one. Okay. okay. Yeah, and and the threading that he's talking about um, was uh, something. Uh, I'm pretty sure that all of his stuff was only P3, right? Nobody else went or did. Uh, wait, um, no, the the V4K uh, fund was P3. That's true. That's true. You're talking yeah, about yeah, mods, yeah. though, right? Yeah, me yeah, mods. I think. Um, did any of there some oh, some random was... like regulated high end mod came in P3? Well, well no, didn't uh, didn't Proveri have a P3? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the radius. Right. That's that's their threading. We're talking Z two though. Z two, yeah, Z two and P3 yeah, Z two, yeah, Z two. But 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 did any other mods have P three like the Proveri? I don't no. think so. Okay, uh, and, and I think Zen is the only one that made stuff with P three threading. Or with yeah, P3. I don't. I think yeah. somebody else used Z two. Yeah. Well, Steam Monkey did it had his Monkey. mod, but, but that's but Zen made it. Yeah, and like, was actually making them the tubes. Yeah. Uh, has hybrids, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, both of I mean the the threading itself, both the Provari one and the uh, and and Zen's threading, they make a lot of sense. I mean, like the the five ten threading is garbage. I mean, it's yep. it's and anybody that's ever still, screwed still an Addy onto a mod, the mod. Still the way it just made the mod. Eight, four it years made, made doing this. right. It made a lot of sense until 
mods started getting smaller. Yep. Right? But it's still 22 millimeter. It is, it is, but it has to have an outer piece, right? So, so, you know, you still, you know, on a mod where, uh, look at, look at uh, some of the five tens that are out, even for squonking now, that are just, you know, the five, the, the, the threading where it uses the body of the mod for the rest of it, right? It's not the whole yeah. area. So, so you know, you, you as they as they're getting smaller, you, maybe the body of the of the mod is is not even. You know, it is 22 millimeter, right? I'm not talking about just a tube mod. I'm talking about, you know, let's say a square mod or something like that. Um, so, you know, and, and I mean, here's the here's the radius, right? That's got the how oh, it's the question is whether I can get that ring off. It's really not bad um, as far as the mod goes. Now, the Addies, that would make more sense with the Addies, fuck, it's stuck. I don't remember last time I took this fucking thing off, but you can see. Here, I'll just show you. Yeah, you, you can't you can't wear sleeveless shirts and not be able to open something up. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to break it. Um, but the uh, so you can see the outer ring that that unscrews. So then you just have that one the one inner ring, and that's the male part of the P three. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it, it's out of the mod. It's I don't think it would have taken up much room inside. Yeah. You know. Holy crap! <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, yeah, what was that? They're right outside. <laughs> no, that's Don. Jesus, Don. Know, there's a big tree right there. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, yo, hey, baby, it's ten o'clock. Are you? Are those your birds that you're you're using as carrier pigeons? <laughs> that I raise them for food. You, you, know, you know, you know that's that's the <laughs> <a> new. <laughs> you ever had a pigeon you know breast, breast, <laughs> pigeon breast uh, roasted? Uh. I know uh, Mike yeah, Tyson. No, I know Mike Tyson raised pigeons. I ate pigeon before. It tastes a lot like chicken. I mean, it mm -hmm. is a bird. Is it reverse um, threaded? This thing is welded on there. But yeah. Anyway, if you do happen to have a P3 or a Z2 device, go ahead and get the V1.5. But otherwise, you probably don't want that. <laughs> or you and, can get the Vika, the Vika Fantasy Light. They finally started shipping to the U.S. The what? The Vika Fantasy Light. Fantasy. It's another tank that takes Nautilus coils that is not close enough that I would call it a clone. Hmm. Roger. They're made in China. They're like 30 to 60 bucks. They come in TI if you want them. Free shipping over 60 what, or else shipping is like $25. Ooh. TI, I love the ATL. <clears throat> Agreed. A dirty Sal. TIP. What you know about that? Mm-hmm. Um, um, uh, yeah. No, I'm not going like, yep. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not to try to uh, not going to try to take that thing out because uh, just use a screwdriver and then break it. I'm sure. But anyway, yeah, it unthreads. You can put the thing on there. It'll be fine. Man, I did order something weird. So if you remember back, oh uh, God, about a year, year and a half ago, I was a massive RTA guy. I've always been a rebuildable tank guy. And when I started, when they started making good squonking atomizers, like the Narda, I quit being a tank guy because, well, drippers are better. But uh, Todd and Damien and all these guys kept going on and on and other people too, just kept going on and on about how good the skyline RTA was, and it's well, impossible to find or whatever, so fine. I just didn't didn't bother with it. But last week, uh, our friend Kristen, uh, Kristen from um, from Bell Vapes just messaged me out of the blue and said, hey, uh, Eastmo Guru has got Skylines in stock. And, I was like, and it was like 3 o'clock in the morning when he messaged me, and I happened to be awake. And, uh, and I was like, fuck. And I made a bad decision, and I went ahead and ordered one. Um, so it came. Uh, I want to get this out of the way. <laughs> it's a fucking expensive tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not, I mean, to be honest, it's not terribly out of line with things like the Uber 2, things like, uh, even like the, uh, what's the E Phoenix uh, Hurricane? I think that thing is 180, 180 bucks. Not anymore. Um, Maybe the V2. Mm, yeah, no, the, the regular full size one is definitely was back in the day, uh, was 
I think it was 180 something bucks. Um, this guy is 200 euros, but I think it's 200 euros shipped. I'd have to go back and look, but I think it's 200 euros shipped. What's that? 185. Mm, yeah, Euro. so not too far off, I guess. So I, I guess maybe I'm misspeaking a little bit, but still, 200 bucks for a tank, that's expensive. It's expensive. So uh, what do you get when you drop that kind of money? Uh, well, you get a wooden box, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, fingerprint magnet of a box. Yeah, definitely a fingerprint magnet. But it's a uh, but wooden box. That's kind of cool. I. It's funny. There's a little rabbit trail for you. Uh, when I was talking to Steven, the guy who makes the the haku, he was he had gotten some suggestions in order to to make sure that he was complying with rules and whatever. There's a bunch of reasons, but he decided to ship instead of the original, what my prototype came in, uh, which is this cool little like medicine kind of thing, and he bought he bought a pile Yankee. of them. What's that? Came from Yankee Candle. Yeah, it's a cool little container. I dig it. And he bought a shitload of them, or whatever, and then he ended up not using them, which kind of sucks for him. But he ended up using like a, a less expensive thing, um, like a like a compression, you know, one of these kind of weird boxes. Uh, he and he was worried about it. He's like, you know, is, is that going to be a problem? I'm like, dude, I've gotten I don't know how many drippers and tanks and stuff that I've ordered and paid 100 200 bucks for that came in the freaking Ziploc. It's happened a lot. Uh, there's there's been a lot of those, so I wouldn't worry about packaging. Uh, I so I said that, and then now this this thing's got you know it's a freaking wooden box. Uh, you want to talk about bundle cutting? There's a little bit of that going on, I think. But oh, for example, that the when we were just talking about the hurricane. That shit came in a Ziploc. With no fucking spares. With no spares. <laughs> the V2s, no spares at all. Uh, this one, uh, cool wooden box. You open it up, uh, and inside of here, you've got a couple of things. you got a little baggie of uh, shitload of spares, unlike yeah. the other one. Uh, there's a really nicely printed uh, uh, user manual. Uh, and then the other thing you get is uh, one of the air discs, which we'll talk about in a minute. And, uh, and a cool little stainless, like heavy-duty stainless tool that's uh, specifically for removing the inside air uh, disc thing that we'll talk about. Uh, and you get two drip tips. Uh, you get a, a stainless one and a palm, black palm one. Uh, standard. That's just what all of them come with. Uh, the first sort of random thing that I will mention, Fu, you know we talked uh, just the other day about the, uh, the router tips, right? The router drip tips. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is the nicest stock drip tip I've ever gotten. Uh, the, the stainless one, it's it's heavy, it's thick, it's dual o-ringed, and it's super polished. And the only <coughs> thing the only thing that's not like the router is it doesn't have that flare at the bottom, which is nice. Um, this is just more of a straight cylinder, but it feels <coughs> in the old lip. It feels nice. It feels real nice. Um, so that's cool. I, I know it's a weird thing to say, but uh, it's actually a really nice drip tip. Um, so let's go up a little closer here so I can show you a little bit about this. Um, this is a super, super well-machined uh, uh, tank. That's a, that's just all there is to it. This thing is machined very well. Everything is super tight. The threads are super smooth. Everything's really easy to use. It comes with uh, a borosilicate. Uh, sorry, it comes with a plastic uh, sort of tank, but it also comes with a... Uh, borosilicate spare, which is kind of wacky, right? So it comes with a plastic tank and and a glass one. A um, couple of the, the, the real quick uh, features that I'll show you is the juice flow control is built into the top. Um, so uh, you don't have to take a drip tip out, but you can take a drip tip out. You can see the juice flow channels down here, and they are all over the place. And uh, and you can see how low my, my juice is, too. You can vape this thing dry. I vaped it dry this weekend by accident. I was sitting there vaping away, and all of a sudden, I realized that it, the the tone changed when I took a drag, and the flavor dropped off a little bit. I looked, and there was no juice in it, so that's pretty cool. But you can see as you uh, as you screw in this guy, doo, 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 see that door kind of closing. Door is closing, so you can screw that guy down. And then one of the things that is nice because there's been a few atomizers that have done this top thing, but this does a little kind of trick. So this ring. Gorgeous threads comes right off, and then this top guy spook, pops right out. O-ring sealed. Um, but neat. one of the things you'll notice at the at the top here is you see it's kind of a, it's a hex inside, and that hex is what sits down on top of your chimney in here. So there's no uh, relying on friction uh, to adjust your 
uh, adjust your juice flow control. It actually solidly fits down on the chimney and, and 100 percent, you know, you unscrew it and unscrews it. Um, so that's really cool. I actually dig that quite a bit. Put that back on here and I'll show you the deck. Um, super, super easy uh, build. If you've ever built, well, really any tank, uh, you'll be able to knock this one out of the park. Uh, before I take this off, I'll show you. It's got an enormous amount of air. There's two, just two, offset by 90 degree uh, giant slots. It reminds this me is, a lot of the billow. Yeah, th this is one of the things I don't really understand about it, actually, because there's this huge amount of air available. But when we get in there, you'll see that the uh, that the, the actual exit of the... Um, uh, of the air underneath the coil is very restricted depending on which um, which of the little air discs you use. It could be compressing the air, or they, they could be trying to compress the air. Uh, it's, it, is, it could be diffusing the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shout take, out. Yeah, shout out. Shout, shout out. Bro, you know, let's take my wake up, but I'm not. I'm not gonna take my I'm not gonna take a wake up. You guys can just deal with it because I've been vaping the shit out of that's the a shot at, That's a shot at a row. Across the brow. Across the brow. Uh, so like an Uber Tube deck. Uh, it's similar to an Uber Tube uh, as far because you have two two posts there. I will notice or I will point out the two big fat flathead screws that are super solid, super super solid. Oh, that's weird. I apparently messed the uh, messed up my coil uh, when I pulled that out just a minute yeah, ago. It looks it looks like a it looks like a man smiling with a mustache. Mm hmm. Let me pull this out. It also it's... kind of looks like Dr. Robotnik. Oh, my yeah. God. Some, someone just sent me a link to the toilet, the night light toilet lights, $16 for two of them. <laughs> are they on sale? Yeah, they're on sale. Those are the ones that you mentioned a while back. Trip, trip, trip. Yeah. Send them a chance. Yeah. I'll, put them, I'll put them in chat. <laughs> Send them a chance. All right. Uh, so let me show you that real quick. So you can see that little kind of gray, uh, that's a uh, peak uh, little guy underneath there with three holes in it. That's the air dust that you can replace. They've got, I think it was 10 or 11 different options with down to like a one millimeter single hole uh, all the way up to basically wide open. I have run this thing with both this one as well as wide open. Uh, even wide open, it's uh, it's restricted lung. It's not as much as you might think. Um, but, oh, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about the screws. Those big fat screws make it so nice to build. You know, some of these little uh, post uh, Post grubs and stuff that they've got, they, they you know, they're always kind of just a little jank or a little, they're little heavy. thin. Uh, mm -hmm. These things are super, super solid. Uh, that felt really nice to uh, screw it in and out of, so to speak. Anyway, that little thing, that little tool that I showed you earlier, that's what you use to pull that thing out. Um, this is, uh, or should I say this? If there was going to be a tank to make me not swunk anymore. This might be that tank. It's mm. it is very, very good, and the only thing that's keeping me from using this thing like crazy right now is I I ended up getting the what did I get the one point five by three air disc yeah one point five millimeter three of them underneath the coil and it's a little too restrictive for me, um, so it's you know I can't I need a little just a little bit more air uh, on my draw, but even with that being said, I'm not sure that abolishment has ever tasted better in anything. It's it's that good. It really is just just fantastic. It's really, <laughs> really, really good. Um, so I have been uh, been enjoying that a lot. So it's kind of funny. I, I mean, that made me break out my the old flu momentum. And the only thing this has done in the last year is basically just run uh, pulse my exoset coils <laughs> before I put it back in the pill box. It's the only thing this thing's been doing. That's expensive coil <laughs> tester. <laughs> it's a really expensive coil pulser. Um, that's the only thing. I, I, mean, I barely used it. I barely used the the melody. Those are the two non squonk things that I've kept. Uh, my melody. Because <laughs> sure. I haven't needed them. Because I just been squonking. Um, anyway, uh, so it's it's been nice having that out. I actually did run it in the uh, the old tosser stick. I busted this out. I haven't used this thing in God knows how long. Um, being that everything is, uh, you know, once you get your air set. Uh, for it's pr primarily that air disc, right? You got this giant air channels. You're never going to use the fine or the coarse adjustment on the bottom. Since the juice flow and the refill is all done on the top, going to the tosser stick is no problem because all you need is the top anyway. And you can inject, you know, pick, take it right out of there. That thing worked great. Yeah, it's really good. 
Uh, it's really good. The only thing that I've noticed is even with a tiny little dinky thing and a relatively small atomizer, uh, it's a lot heavier and bigger than a billet box in my pocket. So there's that. Uh, I mean, hmm. even even putting it in the uh, the tosser stick, which makes it much more, it makes it thinner but still taller than the billet box. Um, it's heavy. Uh, this tank is is thick stainless. I mean, it, not only is it well made, it is you you pick it up and you and you feel the quality. You, you don't feel the feel you don't feel Japan. cheapness. It's it's definitely thick, um, in a really good way. But at the same time, it's also a little heavy. So there's that. That's the uh, that's the skyline. It's it's so good. How good is it? It's so good. I think I might shoot a review for it. That's that's how good it is. I might I might actually go to that level of effort for a non squonk thing and shoot a review for it. It's really really yummy, very tasty. Um, I think uh, I think Will, William also I know William got one as well, and I think he's just about as excited as I am uh, for it. Um, something that's kind of funny that I was in the hangout when this happened, and uh, and and Mr. Dong over here was in it. He goes, oh, because I had mentioned something about the, the airflow being a little restrictive. He goes, uh, you know. But there's a clone of that already, right? And I was like, no, I, I didn't know that, but I'm not sure. He's like, yeah, Fastex got a, like a 10 pack of all the different air discs. Oh, like three dollars. It's like five twenty five or something for all of them. I think they're like six euro each. <laughs> you table. should take a peek at them. Yeah, that's so. That's the only problem. That's that's been my real hesitation of trying out the different ones before I bought you know the real one, and you know from the Fastex ones. The problem is, is that that peak of plastic is right underneath your coil. I mean, it's like it's right there. Yeah. And if that's chinesium peak, if that's well, peak, it's, it's cheek. Yeah. You know, spe speaking about that, where you were talking about that bore uh glass tank that you got. Um, here's, here's an image of, uh, if you want to go to the other extreme of uh, a user that broke his glass and he decided to 3d print a tank. Uh, it looks I'm like he. Not, it looks like he wanted to hide whatever juice he was vaping in there. I. I don't. Okay. So it's uh, red. Right. And it's also right. off. That's, look. It's yeah. That, that's yeah. That's, that's, that's okay. Right. That's all right. But he. He wanted. He wanted to. To. To more. More. More juice. So he oh. printed. Uh, a bigger <laughs> did, one. Did Manny yeah. print that? Yeah. Let's <laughs> um, lots of bigger designs. <laughs> so. Funny thing is, is, is a how he's gluing that uh, to the tank, and and you know what he's using to, to you know to keep that seal and and b what is what is it doing what is it going to leach off that plastic, you he's know and in the comments stock o rings. yeah that's that's true, but I'm wondering how you know that's not very thick so. Uh, you know those the, the ends. I'm wondering if if he used some kind of. I think he talks about it in the thread. He used uh, some kind of uh, uh, acetone vapor uh, bath to to you know smooth out. Um, so eh, it's kind of now, now his tank looks weird. like a pear. It looks like a to me, yeah. <clears throat> so you know, just the total opposite <clears throat> there of of you know your nice boros silicate tank. Yeah, fancy, fancy. I, I did. There's a comment in the chat that said that said abolishment tastes better than something that's not the Narda. I personally, and and I know uh, Motherhead will disagree with me, but I personally still think that abolishment tastes best in a tank. Uh, I always have. That's that's the reason that instead of going 100% squonking, that's why that's how why I've had a billet box forever because it's in my opinion the the ratio and the heat and everything that I get out of a tank it's just it's just right. I mean that's how I made. Abolishment was was vaping in that tank, so, nah, that's just me. Uh, I, I I do think tanks taste best, and I I would say that previously it was the EVL Reaper that had the, the crown for best uh, tasting abolishment. Those are, I have two picks. I said chat the Reaper or the Hurricane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Hurricane was it was really good in the Hurricane as well, and it was great in the K the K Fun Five was really good too. Um, but I think the the Reaper took it by a hair, and this thing I think takes the Reaper by a hair. I think. It's really, really good. What's that link? I just saw the link. Sorry. Oh, what? What is that? There? What is that, dong? 
Uh, looks like a uh, replacement tank made out of your favorite material. Oh, look, it's a replacement <laughs> tank made out of my favorite fucking piss material. They should, they should call that the, the, the Buddha, Buddha belly one. Yeah, a little love handles on that thing. What is... I do not understand the obsession. You know... All right, so let's let's run those back a little bit. Well, I, back now. I am totally going to take credit for stabilized piss when referring to Ultim and everybody's using now, which I love. I love that. I mm -hmm. think that's hilarious. But even the people that use it still have been demanding it from modders. And now there's like whole full mods coming out made it at Ultim. It's why? Stop it. It's ugly, awful stuff. More than anything to me. It just looks cheap. I don't, I don't question that, like, if it's a solidly made mod, but just the plastic and just the shade, it's... It's not It's not pretty. Now, I will say, because I know Will's going to give me a hard time if I don't, the Big Apple mod guy has definitely worked out a process to where that is clear, and I think it looks better, slightly. Yeah. But it's still, uh, I mean, the, some of the Big, Big Apple mods are full Ultim, like 100% of the whole... And enclosure is also fucking yep. ugly, awful. I I don't know. When I found out that Ultim, you know, like the, the, the piss color is just, you know, is just a version of it. You know, it's like yeah, why, right. Why, this, is, why, this is black why, Ultim. That right there, right. black Ultim. That's fine. Right. And, and, and you know, and and you look, you, you, what, there's, and it's funny too because uh, three years ago, uh, certain I'm not going to go into details, but certain people were looking at stuff uh, to be made overseas. And when they asked for Ultim, okay, the price was here. When they asked for the chemical version of Ultim, the price was down here. And and it was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. It's the same material, you know? But where they were getting the materi material from, because things were starting to be made from that, Ultim, was when people were asking for Ultim, it was more expensive, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyways, and, and, and you know, yeah, I found out about the, the color, you know, because everybody's like, oh, well, my mod looks like piss because it's Ultim. Ultim is awesome. Yeah, Ultim is awesome, but it, it, it comes in another color, you know? So yeah. some people, I mean, some people had said that, you know, it's a price difference between the piss colored one and the black one. Well, no shit. Do you want your mod look to look like it just, you know, it froze in piss and you pulled it back out of the toilet or, you Fucking know? Fucking millennials, I tell ya. Yeah, yeah I tell ya. <laughs> Ultim snowflakes. <laughs> um, Fu, you do you want to uh, to mention what? Uh, speaking of uh, juice, I was actually it was not speaking of juice because I was about to ask I was about to ask Dong what he was vaping and then I transitioned that in my head. But anyway, you had juice news. Oh yeah, the thing I said in chat. Yeah. So. We have concentrated our efforts in the UK, and you saw what that paid off, right? Mm -hmm. So we did that elsewhere in a place called France. 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 Nice. So, so concentrates are going to be available in uh, France. Yeah. Uh, is it the JoJo? JoJo. The vape and bear. Mm -hmm. the vape and bear. We, um, they, they love the foo. They love Foo's Gold over there. Well, they like tobacco because it's one of the few things they have going for them. Yeah. So that's exciting. That's awesome. That's yeah, that's really that was, good. That was a joke to the French people. <laughs> we, world, worldwide. As soon cheese day, as they say in French. As soon cheese day. Omelette. I'm super stoked because, you know, back in France, Dom? they like Dom? There you go. I think oh, you were I sleeping like, with your eyes open. I was entranced by some Ultim mods. <laughs> <laughs> That's I've why they do that. An Ultim hobo. I, I mean, I, I'll give it. You know, it, it, it You can see inside. So, uh, but you could also piss on yourself. So, there you I've go. got an Ultim tank right here. Uh, that is such I a bad just, tank. I know the tobacco stained. It is such a bad tank. I found a build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You what? I found a build for it. It's been two weeks. No problems. It's not that it was problems. Uh, it's uh, what would the the Brits say? It's a, it's just a faff. Like it's just a pain in the ass. 
I did, I did not like build. I did not like building on that thing. Not cool. Not cool. Hmm. I'd rather I'd time. rather rebuild a billet box that a hundred times. Hmm. So, if once this build goes bad, I'm not going to rebuild it for another year. Probably. What tank is it? <laughs> it's the Heron. The Heron V. Oh right, right, right. I can't remember you telling me about that. Oh Al, Al just sent me. <laughs> there you go. You're messy. This this will make you happy. He, uh, Al Al just sent me a picture of uh of the radius is five ten. If you want to take that the the whole the whole five ten off. Oh, there you go. Yes, here's the here's the whole thing. So that's what. Yeah. The radius and now sure. that you've and now that you've broken it, you can never send it back. <laughs> <laughs> I get it because they're. Uh, I guess I should have played. I guess I should have played the. Uh, what is what is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not around anymore. What is it? Oh, we're, we're P3 at though. Oh uh, boy. Yeah, that's sad. It is sad. I always like uh, it. Always like the woods. I'm mean, here in America, which is always good. All right, we got anything else? I don't think so. I don't think I have anything else. At least not the talk. Oh. I will say that uh, I had a pleasant surprise this last week. I did buy a new Narda, uh, and the new Nardas are coming in the, the zipper case that the Narbuck came in, which is really cool. So I, I got like the tin, dude. What's that? I like the tin. Yeah, the tin was cool, but that they haven't come in that little thing in a long time. Like, since I got my first or second. How, um, how have they gotten about F5-ing lately? Because, man, I saw one a couple days ago that it was just brutal. Oh, it's still the same thing. I mean, yeah. it's, it's it's madness that it's been two years and yeah. How's he? How's he doing with production? Like, is he's he's, doing, he, he's well? Out. He's been releasing. The problem is he's got he's a small shop, right? So when he makes mm-hmm. runs of things, he tends to stick with a product. So I think the last okay. couple of runs have been Nar Buzz, and then the, then there was a couple you know Nar Deck runs, Nar Nar Duh Deck runs, and then uh, then our Tuz before that I think. But anyway, this is the first time he's done a full a full Narda release, like not just the deck, in quite some time. Uh, but that's because everybody's got their own caps, right? Everybody wants their own caps. And one thing that's really cool about this one is he listened to Sean and I, and he packaged together the bottom feeding pin with it, which is really cool. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's like discount. You know, what, you know what Narda releases are like that scene at the end of Mad Max with the body and everyone like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> People saw the movie. Know what I'm talking about. That's what Narda releases are. Yeah, uh, Chris L. I th- yeah, I I think I've seven or eight or something over the years that I've, that I've purchased. That. Um, I think about three of them I've given to people uh, that couldn't get a hold of one themselves. Uh, I think I've got with this one. I think I've got four here. I think that's right. Four or five. I'm actually not sure. I think I got another one over there somewhere. <laughs> eh, it's my favorite thing. What are you going to do? I'm going to buy it when it comes up. <clears throat> and yes, I've F5'd and bought them just like the rest of you every time. Suckers. Yeah, suckers. Anything uh, Anything else? I think I'm done. Ooh, what else? Juice Ooh. announcement, right? Well, yeah, JoJo. He's got our shit. He's yeah. going to be having it soon. So, yeah, I don't think it's there yet, but it's coming. It's coming. So it's coming. France people. France. Tell your other France people. Um, yeah, I mean, and you know that that's that's a big deal, uh, right? I mean, being able being able to get that stuff over there. So yeah, because if you remember, I had to I had to make a foos gold delivery for a viewer of ours in France. Antoine, he got the juice. Actually, he uh, forgot to mention this. Uh, he messaged me like it was a week and a half ago that he got it. Mm-hmm. Had the bottles. I sent him three bottles. I said I'd tell you eventually. Some three bottles of Fusgul, and uh, now we'll uh, we'll be able to restock when he runs out of that Fusgul. That probably mm-hmm. so. there you go. Um, and somebody was asking in chat that where else can you get it? You can also get it uh, from just addnick.co.uk in the uh, in the UK. That was our first concentrate uh, vendor, and uh, that's been that's been doing really well over there. I'm uh, really excited about it. It's cool. It like has. It. I like it. So just add Nick to UK or Jojo the Vaping Bear, I think. I think it's I know it's Jojo, but I think it's the Vaping Bear uh, in France. Hmm. He, should get get with the, he should get with the Vaping Biker and they make a great couple. 
He's kind of Giggle, a, and giggle like a schoolgirl. He's kind of a bear too, old uh, old Dean. Yeah. Oh, cuddly, cuddly. <laughs> and on giggle that, like schoolgirl. And on that bombshell. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out. Thanks Peace for out. coming to the. Thanks for coming on the show, there, uh, Dong. Thanks for having me. That was a pleasure. Anytime. Y'all take it easy. Peace, Peace. out. Wu Tang. What is, what is, what is?